a flex cable or glass cable we can change the parameters see the effects see how the results are coming how do you plot the graphs and how the slopes are determined and things like that see people are coming from the just past category of the years 2020-21 and I'm sorry to say that they're even not able to scale down draw the graphs I think all of you are as parents also must be knowing struggling with your own children so this has become definitely a bone uh, let me just run through and then I will go back to experimenting any of this so the, the beauty of this is that there is a theory there is an experiment, there is a procedure even if you are a life student if you are, he or she doesn't know what the experiment is and how it is being carried out they can always refer to the theory they can refer to the practical they refer to the formulae and say for all our physics experiments we do the experiment we do the empirical calculations and then validate the results right so that can also be done using this so therefore uh, during the covid time this also has become a kind of you know pdf notes instead of resupplying it directly it is being taken from this and they are able to correlate always the problem is correlation between theory and experiment that's well taken care of in these labs over here so you can see as you change this, the parameters, this also is calculating, you can see here, the distance of the screen and this is varied, the diameter is varied, it is also giving you the values, you can see the graph. And by looking at the graph, you can make out this is not the correct reading that you are getting, what is expected and what is the deviation and how much is the error percentage that also can be calculated. So we have used it to highlight them on the calculation of errors, the probability errors, measurable errors and why you should not manipulate the tendency of physics students is to manipulate to get the good result and we have a continuous evaluation in our criteria so every lab is assessed every experiment is assessed so to get good marks they are, they do this they are not permitted to this because everything is online we can test them online we can even assess them online so this is how we are doing hmm, it's only an image Another interesting thing is this uh, funnel sprite prism. So, however many times they demonstrate, they all enjoy it, but by themselves when they do the spectral adjustments, they won't get it and they lose interest. They say, ma'am, we got it and they leave. You know that they didn't get it. But this way, they see the fringes, they're supposed to measure the width and so on. And finding the fringes and measuring the distance between the fringes, fifth, sixth and so on, they find it difficult to count it when they see with the spectrometer. Here they will be able to see a magnified image, they will be able to measure the distance and calculate. And also come to a conclusion that the estimation is different from what you actually do. So some of the students who are very smart, you know, they write 5890 and get it signed. So that cannot happen here. So this is what uh, we have seen. This is how the calculations and it also shows you the conformity of the results. And this is another interesting, uh, I think uh, morning also we have seen double slit experiment. We have done, uh, my colleague also has demonstrated the double slit experiment. Here I am showing you the Newton's rings. And the beauty is, if it is a physical laboratory, we do only with the sodium light. Here you can choose different lights here, different uh, colors, different intensities, and see the effect of the fringe shift among these things. Newton's law of cooling is another thing. Uh, people uh, are very, but you know, they are not patient enough to wait for a 5 degree cooling. We say 5 degree, they won't wait. They say, ma'am, why can't we take every 2-3 degrees so that we will get many results? Because in uh, hot uh, seasons, uh, hot semesters, this uh, optics falls in uh, summer and it takes longer time. I think all of our colleagues here will feel it. It takes a longer time for cooling and they have no patience. So they wait till, uh, they will not wait for the room temperature. They will just, try, I think around 60-50 only they stop. So here, we we'll take, we can take, we have the flexibility of taking different materials, the viscous, the non-viscous and also to be able to raise the temperatures to the different liquids to different temperatures and cool it and then we will be able to even uh, carry out the experiment with different materials. So that is another interesting. So you can see, even uh, this was uh, taken uh, for a material I will uh, come back for this. So, uh, this is you can change the material and see you can see the cooling curve also. I'll come back and uh, maybe if time permits, I'll show you that. Yeah, 
Yeah. So a few of the see we have done I think about uh, Jaya I think around 100 experiments we have done I think no more than that during this uh, all this and in then uh, we also have a combination of students doing electronics we have done a few experiments in electronics the simple uh, we teach the undergraduates so this is uh, oscilloscope oscilloscope adjustments this is just figures simple harmonic motions generating different loops they enjoy because. If you have to do physical arrangement, you need two CROs, you need function generators. Usually, they don't work, and if they work, we have to make many adjustments. So with this, they enjoy it and they are able to do experiment using this. So using that technique, we showed them how the rectification rectifiers, a bridge, center tap, and all the rectifiers by changing the resistance, they can take n number of readings. Generally, when they come to the lab, we say you take 10 readings, 15 readings. Here. The countless number of readings can be taken. We can pay attention more on the analysis of the experiment than on doing the experiment, which anyway all the students will be learning otherwise. So op amps, again differentiating, integrating, changing the frequencies, amplitudes, and so on. Another interesting thing is implementation of multiplexes, demultiplexes, a complicated circuit using this, uh, then uh, encoders, decoders. These are all the different things. Uh, maybe encoder. Uh, what is it? <coughs> These are all. This is uh, some time back uh, in the morning uh, inaugural session. Professor was referring to smoking tutorials of IIT Bombay. We've used even this. We've conducted many sessions, many uh, workshops for teachers. Some of you must have even attended uh, on smoking tutorials. It's a self-paced <coughs> course. And we even conducted one course on ESIM, that is electronic simulation, where fast tools are being used. That was during the COVID time, especially, we were finding it difficult to get this. Uh, we left the colleges uh, you know, at, uh, without any notice. So, our, at all uh, software that we purchased with the perpetual license, we couldn't carry them to our homes. So, we depended on these and we showed them how to simulate the circuits and how to realize the real life situations and you know, mimic them using these circuits. So maybe if I can uh, click this. I want to click this, sir. Control click. So this is one thing. Actually, we made them do this experiment on breadboard and they have done it. Those batches have gone. So those students who are right now with us, we are making them do like this. So like this, uh, different uh, circuits were you know, emulated, uh, simulated and they enjoyed this. Then when we were insisting on project work, again I am talking with reference to I become, I being the steering committee member, we have some role to play in the college to you know get the good grades in math. So when we were introducing this, project based education is one of the ICT teaching pedagogies. When we wanted them to do projects, some of the advanced learners have done, others, others haven't done. So what we told is, this is how it is, they are able to see the overview of the entire uh, objective of the project, of the program. When they see the output, they went back, that is uh, something like a reverse engineering. If you show, start from the input, I want to go to this website. So, is it below? Can you go below? There are some control things Go a little below. Ah, yeah. 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 Yes, yes. So just go to the three lines. Yeah. This is a simulation here. So something like in a washing machine. This is something uh, we made them do the experiment using the breadboard and so on. And then we showed them this. Seeing this, they got a better idea and they implemented it in a better way. And we conducted an electronics exhibition. It was very well appreciated in the college. So based on this principle, they conducted many, many experiments of day-to-day -day experiences. So what we told them is, as soon as you get up from the bed, from the time you get up from the bed, till you retire, is all the physics which is pervasive, they didn't realize, they didn't accept it. They still wanted a computer science. But showing these things, we could attract a few. So this is our mission in our college to attract. So I think it should be the mission with all of us here. So here, uh, when the door is on, 
the water level is chosen correctly, then you can see the motor gun. Is it running? If you open the door, it stops working. So, simple application is what we have shown. This is another uh, thing. This is a uh, car wiper control. So this is also very, so it's a very simple. See, it look, appears to be simple, but uh, mm -hmm. if they see the output, they are enjoying this. Uh, we also became students by seeing these kind of things. So simple uh, OR gate and XR gates for the staircase. We all say XR gate is used as a staircase switch. So this we could show them. Cockpit controls. And uh, another interesting thing is we have introduced a course on biosensors under the national education policy and the revised guidelines. So this is one sensor here which measures the BP monitoring and then uh, transducer as an application. We were teaching them basic instrumentation in transducer. It was not, you know, very appreciative. When they saw this, it was really, you know, they were able to measure the pulse and then see how it is. You can choose the speed. Start this. Just it takes two seconds. And then you know it will give you what is a heart rate monitoring and things like that. And it also when you go, there are three levels. If you move from this level to the second level, it will tell you what is the normal range and where you are. And then how do you monitor kind of things. So something like you know, we offer a course for non-physics students also. That is called as skill enhancement courses under the new education policy. So we show these kind of things to non-physics students. So they will understand what physics is. Uh, in course, for in our colleges at the degree level, physics is something which is not native of Indian uh, this thing. We all uh, don't like physics, we want something which is easier to comprehend, easier to score. So, the data science, very sorry to tell you, as students of physics, we treat computer science as a tool to learn, but that has become the major uh, optional subject. People are carried away and all our physics students are swept away by the data science. So, we want them to come back towards this. Five minutes. Okay. So this is how we are doing. So this is how we simulated different experiments. We've constructed a DC power supply, five volts, ten volts, and regulators using this. They are able to understand the regulator uh, circuits using this. So to generate these waveforms using this big circuit, so there is a provision here to wire the circuit also. Even if you do not know, there is something called instructions. If you click on this, it will give you a theory, it will give you instructions of how to connect and how what to look for. Suppose you do not know the output, it will also tell you what the output is expected of and are you getting the same. You can have a correlation between the two. RC coupled amplifier uh, is a, at the degree level is a, is a bit uh, difficult uh, task. Because you have to range, the range of the frequencies we change from 500 hertz to a few megahertz. Very big bandwidth. So this also they are finding it difficult. We have simulated this. And here you can change all the parameters. The resistances, load resistance, capacitance, coupling and so on. And see how the response curve is. 
and a beautiful course will come and you will be able to gain, gain buy and good product of different things. So we even perform online quizzes using these, we will ask them to simulate, ask the different parameters and we conducted a practical examination also based on this and it was ratified in the BOS. Professor Sabat was uh, happy to be our BOS member. It was ratified in the BOS and also in some of these internal assessments we are conducting tests using this. Uh, not only this, we also wanted to even use this basic communication skills offered by this Indian Institute of Technology, Bhagavati. They offer business communication, general spoken English. They can exercise, I do not know whether you are able to see, spelling check, matching, grammar and all basic English communication skills. There are quizzes here. You can correct the sentences. You can jumble the sentences, quick them in pre-orders, create some stories and things like that. That also is, that was also very helpful, especially for uh, the students who are not inclined towards sciences. We encourage them during these labs. So I think uh, we will see in some other uh, context when some time is given, we will go into it. Thank you very much and thank you for uh, patiently listening to all this. Some of you must be already experimenting these things. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sarna, especially for finishing your time. Thank you. And you know, it's very interesting to see how you connected physics with your everyday uh, life uh, things because that's one of the things for which physics uh, remains very inaccessible to many people. So we can have a question or two? Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> Madam, especially uh, why students are not coming to the physics subject is a problem with the basic understanding at a group level. Yes. And one more thing is the opportunities for the physics is very less in our India. That is the reason most of the students are taking as a computer science. I'll show you one personal experience with me. One of the faculty is studying from IIT Hyderabad, PhD, eating postdoc. He is working for 30,000, 35,000 in the Mother College. The thing is, after looking at him, the people are refused to take the physics subject. And one more, the faculty who are teaching in the graduate level are going to do this. They don't know that Newton's second law, they said F is equal to can be. They never teach external forces equal to rate of change of momentum. If that quality of the teachers is like this. The concept so, of inertia only yes. they do not know, sir. You yes. have to second law. That's the reason. They don't that's the reason. And most of the college to intermediate students, they will take only physics only for the entrance examinations. Very soon we are going yes. to feel the shortage of teachers teaching at school and graduate yes. levels. Yes. How do you produce engineers is a question. Yeah, Our one. output is input to the universities. Yeah, so. <laughs> that means that if we are provide an opportunity, so definitely people will come into the picture. Even regarding to the female and male faculty. Yes. Even our traditional system, we have to change the mindset of the people so that everyone is going to come. Because everyone is the same, Adhana Ishwara. So everyone is the same, there is no unequal. Everyone is the same. Those are the opportunities we are providing, let them go. The next one is in the virtual lab. I have gone through the last four and five years. If you change the variables, the answer is going to be the same. That should be corrected in a virtual lab. I have been communicating. Yes, yes. Yeah. I communicate a number of times. Yes. Thank you. And one more thing is, some of these virtual libraries, they are still using the flash mode. And the flash mode doesn't work, I think, yes, communicated. Yes, yes, yes. So that has to be converted to the Java applets, then it will be more accessible. That is one thing that we've been communicating. Yeah. Um, I would suggest that you, I would suggest okay. that you log into IBM Quantum Computer. Yeah. And get an account on IBM Quantum Computer, and then you can construct all the gates, yes, yeah. etc., yes. very nicely. And you can also uh, simulate very interesting processes like two wave mixing, three wave mm. mixing, yes. neutrino oscillations. Uh, they can all be simulated, and that will be their opportunities that their people are listening to quantum, quantum, quantum all the time. Quantum computing. So, yeah. so thank you, Madam. We learn of uh, science in general physics in particular as an empirical subject yes. and empiricism necessarily entails the discovery of new knowledge through Experiment. doing the experiment. 
While this has limited pedagogical value, I would say, see, all the circuits you use, all the simulations you use are linearized. It's in a linear equation. So the, the, you talked about Newton's law of cooling, yes. and you said, well, they don't wait because the outside temperature is so large, so it doesn't. Okay. Now that's new knowledge. When they're doing an experiment, that is part of the pedagogy that they have to discover. I think the danger in propagating such simulation-based things is you're actually killing of the necessary practical work that new knowledge needs to carry with I it. fully agree with you, sir. Here our idea basically is first bring them to the physics classroom. Getting them to the physics classroom itself is becoming a challenge. And then, once they get into it, it is not that we are going to do only with this. This is in addition to our but excitement. But you are saying that this instills a kind of uh, excitement and it, it gives them a sense that this is uh, all there is yeah, to it's, it. Yeah, it's temporary period, not for This is also why we aren't getting many experimentalists. You know, people like to sit in front of a computer and do things. What we want are people who actually will go and build. Yeah, that's Please, fine. That's make it. the hands dirty, you know, messy. That is the basic, uh, as you say, philosophy of physics. We do agree, sir. But we want uh, them, not only computer science, physics also we can do these kind of things. Once they get it, then we will bring them to the lab. See, the mindset has to be changed first. It's not just the computer science that it is doing. Even in physics we can do such kind of things. But after that, I agree with you that the philosophy has to be changed. So, my question was uh, totally related to that. Uh, basically, troubleshooting is what children learn in, when they are doing experiment, and that will be missing in, when you are doing this uh, virtual thing. And uh, one more question I have with you is, like when you said that when when people try to manipulate, you can catch them, but when it is a simulation, uh, they can easily do that. Like, where is the scope of making a real error when you are doing a simulation? No, see, actually, you have different parameters there when they change the. So, when they build a circuit or uh, whatever the experiment they are doing, when they change the variables, you can see that it is changing. So, what we want to impress is that you will not say acceleration due to gravity 980, you will not get. You will get different values, you will not get the correct answer. So, there is a possibility of error, figure of merit is what we want to teach them. Basically, that is the philosophy. Uh, and here, I want to draw your attention to some, uh, some kind of a, a thing that is happening. It's called FISPORT. I don't know if you have heard of it. Uh, so, you know, that is a natural extension to this uh, virtual lab where you, you actually get to do some real...